Okay, everybody, Chris Johnson back here again with a really fun magic trick. This is called the Two Card Monty. Check this out. I've got two cards here. I'm going to drop them inside my bag. So I've only got two cards. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you what the cards were. So let me see here. This is one card, the Queen of Diamonds. Let me get the other card, the Two of Clubs. Now, I'll bet that you can guess which card stays inside the bag. I'm gonna reach inside the bag and I'm gonna show you one of the cards, one of the backs of the cards, and I bet you, you'll be able to guess was it the red card or the black card that stays inside the bag. You'll get it right every time. So let me see here, I'm gonna take out this card like this. Which one do you think is inside the bag? Oh, you think the Queen of Diamonds is still inside the bag? You're absolutely right. Now let me try that again. Let me put this card back inside the deck. Now, I'm gonna take out another card. So, do you think the black card is in the bag or the red card is still in the bag? You think the red card is still in the bag? You know what, you're exactly right. You're exactly right, you're really good at this game. Now, I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna take one card out of the bag. Which one do you think is left inside the bag? The black card or the red card? You think the black card is left inside the bag? Yep, you're exactly right. The black card is left inside the bag. This is a really fun magic trick that's really easy and it makes your audience the hero. In other words, they're the ones that get it right every time. I've seen some magic tricks where every time the person does the trick, they say that the, um, that the person's gonna get it wrong. They say, which one's inside the bag? And the person will say the red card. No, the black card. And they make the audience member feel really bad because they get it wrong every time. That's not very much fun for your audience. That's not being respectful. So first, I'll show you how this trick works. And then I'll show you a couple of different ways of doing it that are a little bit easier than using it with a bag. It's just using it with a bag was easier to describe it in the book. So what you need are actually four cards. You need a red card and a black card, and you need two other cards. Now look at this. You take two of the cards and you glue them back to back. This is actually two cards, uh, I, I meant face to face. This is actually two cards that I glued face to face. So the card on the, the card on the inside here, I think is a jack, and the other one is like a five, but it doesn't matter because these are glued together now. I used rubber cement. So now no matter which way I flip this card, it looks like I'm showing the back of the card using rubber cement. This card is a car, two cards that are glued together back to back. I got it right this time. So you have a black card on one side and the red card on the other. They're glued back to back with the rubber cement so they can't come apart. But it looks like you're just holding one card. Now, I always like doing this trick with a black card and a red card. So it makes it easier for your audience members to remember which is which. If you have, like, say, a black two and maybe uh, a black seven, people might forget which card is which. So I make it easy on everybody. Which card is left inside the bag, the black card or the red card? So both these cards go inside the bag. And the way that I talked about it in the book, I held both cards like this. So you can see the backs. So I said, I'm going to put two cards inside the bag. You can show the bag empty. Drop both cards inside the bag. And then, oh, and then you say, like you made a mistake, oh, I forgot to show you which card is which. So you reach inside the bag, you take out that double card, and you show one side. Inside this bag, I've got a red card, a red queen, and you go, you go back inside the bag like you're getting the second card out, and flip it over. So you go inside the bag, flip it over, take it out, and go, and I also have a black card, just two cards inside the bag. And then you say to the audience member, I'll bet you can get this right every single time. I'm going to take one card out of the bag, show you the back of it. And every time I do this, you'll be able to guess which card I left inside the bag. Then you reach inside the bag, you take out that double back card. Only show them one side so nobody realizes it's a funny card. Take that, that card back, and you don't want this to go out of view. You don't want people thinking you're changing the cards. So you keep this in view. I held it in my hand like this so they can see that card the whole time. And you ask them to guess which card is inside the bag, the black card or the red card. If they say red card, you make sure to take the red card out with the red, card, with the red side facing out like this. If they say black card, you take the black card, uh, the card with the black side facing out like this. You just look inside the bag and making sure it's facing the right direction. You can do this three or four times and every time the audience member guesses, you can make sure that they're right every single time, which is really fun for them and it gets them more involved with the show virtually too. It's really cool. Now, 
I came up with a way of doing this with a bag because it didn't involve any sleight of hand. And it's really easy, it's easier to describe this in the book and it's easy for you to do this if you're brand new to magic. But I'm gonna show you another way of doing this too. I'm gonna come up closer to the camera. Now look, right now I have the queen and I have um, the uh, double back card. Now watch, I'm gonna show you the backs of the other cards too. Look at this, we've got the black card, red card, black card, red card. Now it looks like I'm showing you both cards. And as I'm turning my card, if I turn both cards over like this, that doesn't look very convincing. So as I'm turning them over, I'm sliding, I'm separating my thumb and my first fingers like this. I'm just kind of sl sliding those fingers back and forth like this. That makes the cards go like this. They, they change position a little bit. When you combine that motion with my hand turning over, now it looks like the cards are in the right positions to show you both sides. It was a very easy bit of sleight of hand, but it, was, but it was really hard to talk about in the book and write up those actions, so I decided to do the bag. So once you've done the bag for a while, if you want to try it this way, you can. Just slide your fingers like this every time you turn the cards over, and it looks like you're showing both cards, both sides, really naturally. And then what you do is this. You take the cards behind your back. And then you take the, the double back card out like this, and you do the same thing you did with the um, with the the bag. They say red card. You take out the red card. Oops! See what I did there? I took out the black. I took out the card of the black side up. For this way, you have to remember which side is up or down when you put them behind your back. I made a mistake there, but it's good for you to know not to make the same mistake that I did. So I'm going to make sure now. I put both cards behind my back, and I, I keep track that the black side is up. I take the double back card up and then if they say black card I go look you're right if they say red card I know to flip it over yes you're right and you do that over and over again red card yes black card yes over and over again and they will win and it looks really magical and it's even more magical than using the bag. So this is a really fun magic trick. It's called the two card Monty and it makes people, people feel really good about themselves because they're getting it right every time. So hope you enjoy that and now on to the next magic trick.